Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about four different players and they're going to be four players that I do believe Barcelona should be building around because I do think that right now Xavi Hernandez knows exactly who he wants to build with because we are within a moment where Xavi does need to know, like Xavi needs to know today, right? Yesterday, that these are going to be these specific players to work with for the next nine to 10 years. It's very important to know this and extremely early because you want to be able to work with these players to give them more time. The attention that they do need so they can understand how they can be maximized 100%. But before we go into any of this, I do want to speak about the One Football app. The One Football app, it is the best football app that you could find within the App Store. If you currently do want to find out what is going on with your favorite player, your favorite team, if you want to see what the league table is looking like, if you do want to read any tactical articles or any articles in general that does have to do with your favorite team or player, you can find all of that information within the One Football app. If you do want to download the One Football app, you can so by scanning the QR code that you do see here on the screen using your camera on your phone but if you do not have a camera available next to you you can also just click the link that will be provided down below on the description box and on the pinned comment it'll take you straight to the app store you can download the one football app once you're there you can set exactly who you do want to follow and then you'll be set and done from there it's a very easy process it's also for free you guys will not be disappointed and I also do want to thank the one football app for supporting a content creator but now let's get back into the video and these four players that I am going to be naming within this video, these are going to be the players that will be the future of this club. And yes, I do think that will be here for the next eight to 10 years. And the way that I am going to be also answering a topic like this is, okay, looking at their profiles, looking at their styles, we need to also understand who are going to be the best players to pair up with them in order for them to really benefit so they can, again, fully get maximized. And you guys will understand exactly what I do mean by this. And so let's go into the first player and we are going to be talking about Ansu. Fati. Ansu Fati is exceptional, right? He is talented. I know that many of the injuries that he has encountered through the season has really hindered his progress, but in the middle of all of these setbacks and injuries, he has shown greatness, right? Like, I understand that he has been very on and off, but every time he did return from that specific injury in the previous season, he always came out with a big bang. And I do think that if Ansu Fati does have those injuries set aside and we no longer have to deal with something like this, he can be one of the best players in the world like it just amazes me that the fact that every time Ansu Fati did came back which was like a total of three times he returned and he always scored he did not even need no more than like 15 minutes to really get a goal in and so it is pure instinct it is the talent that he does carry all of that is completely natural to him and what fascinates me the most about this whole thing is that this is a player that does not necessarily need a lot of volume in terms of minutes dribbles shots he does not need a lot of chances this guy here does get the most out of the minutes that he does receive and he can do it in a very short period of time and Asu Fati did actually say something a couple of hours ago because one of the journalists was asking is it true that PSG were interested in signing you and this is what Asu Fati had to say I didn't even hear about offers from other teams from the first moment I told my agent that I only want to stay at Barcelona I want to play for Barcelona all of my life and so he is dedicated he's not only dedicated to football but he is dedicated to FC Barcelona right he wants to bring success on the pitch for this club he's not necessarily focused on the biggest contract at the age of 19 years old like keep in mind his agent is Jorge Mendes Jorge Mendes can easily take this player anywhere he does want as long as Ansu Fati does give it the green light but Ansu Fati does not want to go anywhere he wants to stay at Barcelona and for the rest of his career and honestly once we do see Ansu Fati finally put in the work and aims to become one of the best players in the world and he is 100% fit there is no other left winger that I can name towards you that can easily replace Ansu Fati in this Barcelona team Team. Once we do have Ansu Fati fully maximized, not a single one, right? I don't care if it's Foden, I don't care if it's Nabri, Sané, Neymar, Vinicius, nobody, right? Ansu Fati at 100% is the best left winger that Barcelona could sign. And now moving on towards the next player, and that is going to be Pedri. Now, Pedri is a player that has also signed a contract extension with Barcelona until 2026. He has a 1 billion release clause. And just like Ansu Fati, he is an exceptional player. I'm very confident that Pedri can be the best midfielder in the world within a about four years it's not going to be like tomorrow but in about four years because there are still other midfielders out there in Europe that are better than Pedri but Pedri is not too far away from being named the best
best midfielder in the world. Unfortunately, just like again Ansu Fati, he has also been hindered a lot by injuries. He has only played in about 22 games in the previous season, so he did not appear a lot. But let me tell you, he did show a lot every time he was on the pitch. Like he scored a goal against Galatasaray. He scored a goal against Sevilla that ended up taking Barcelona to second place. He scored the winning goal versus Levante. And so even with all of that, he was also orchestrating the final third when it came to the attack. And so this player here, he can score lethal goals. This is exactly what Xavi wanted from Pedri. And Pedri did exactly that. We look at this stat here. He was ranked in sixth place within La Liga in terms of having the best conversion rate on goals being scored every time he had a shot on target. But what really defined Pedri so far in his career, it is that 2020-2021 season. Like within those 10 months that he was playing in for club and country, I do think that he ended up playing 70 games in total like it just tells you right that Kuman, Luis Enrique at that time really did need Pedri because of how important he was because of how impactful he also was and he's only going to get better I do think that the best partner for Pedri it is going to be Gavi because Pedri yes physically he is really good but he still needs that physicalness right next to him in that midfield and that could be Gavi which is now going to lead us towards the next player and that is going to be like what we have discussed Gavi Gavi is player number three that I do believe Barcelona should be building around with he he is the youngest player within this group at the age of 17 years old. He is one of the brightest stars. And I do believe that based off what we have seen through this current season that we have just finished, I still think that Gavi can be maximized even more. Like I do think that he has so much more room to grow and in other words, evolve as a player. Because out of all of these players that I am naming right now, I do think that when it comes to Gavi, Gavi is someone where we still have to question and understand what could this player be in the future because he is not a finished product. I do think that he will evolve. Like for example, I would not be surprised like in about three or four years, we end up seeing Gavi play as a central defensive midfielder. Like why not, right? Gavi literally resembles Macherano or someone like Vidal, two players who are very comfortable playing in that position. Gavi shows all of those characteristics. And so we are going to be seeing a midfielder that we have not seen in Barcelona, like in a very, very long time, my friends. And I'm talking about in terms of profile. Now he has been linked with teams like Liverpool, which is a huge disrespect. I do think that Barcelona need to do a better job and especially with Xavi Hernandez and the Porta Mateo Le Mans on protecting this player and making him feel valued. Because we have heard reports about Gavi basically telling his agents to ignore all offers. He only wants to stay at Barcelona and he's very committed to this team, which is why I do add him within this list. This is a player that wants to wear the red and blue shirts until the end of his career. And so hopefully Xavi speaking with this player, telling Gavi, hey, look, I'm always going to be having your back. I do trust you within my project. If you do need me, I'm always going to be here for you. And so we need to start forming that family relationship because if we can have Gavi on Ansu and Pedri see the exact same path alongside with Xavi, they're never going to be going anywhere. And now let's move on towards the last player of today. And this is going to be the most obvious one. I think that many of us know exactly who we're going to be talking about here. And that is going to be Ronald Araujo. So Ronald Araujo was also asked through an interview like four or five days ago. Some journalists asked him, hey, would you ever join the Premier League? And this is what Ronald Araujo had to say. No, my idea is to spend my whole career at Barcelona. So you look at what he did say. It's very similar to what Ansu Fati also said, which is why, again, I'm placing them in this list. We're only going to be speaking about and analyzing the players that are fully committed to Barcelona that do not want to go anywhere, no matter what, right? Because these players, they renewed for a reason. Like they had better offers, but they renewed with Barcelona because they believe in this project. But when it comes to Araujo, I do think that he has the most heart. He has the most leadership. He is the one that is the future of that back line. There's no other young center back I can name to you right now that is better than Ronald Araujo. This guy here, he is a rock star. And the best way I could partner Ronald Araujo in that defensive line is going to have to be a center back that's very good with the ball. Because who I know, I understand, right? Like Araujo is not the best. I do think that he will improve in time. Like what he has stated during his renewal presentation, he was basically saying like, I have learned so many new things with Xavi Hernandez. He's trying to teach me how to do better on the ball, which is great, right? But I do think that we still need to have another center back right next to him that is some sort of like a leader, but also again, very good on the ball. Very good ball distribution and ball dribbling. Koulibaly could be an option to be alongside Ronald Araujo in the future. It may not be next season, maybe in about one or two seasons. Maybe Koundé could 
pair up with Ronald Araujo. Maybe De Ligt can also pair up with someone like Ronald Araujo. All of these players would be great options. It doesn't have to always come down to just one player. There's so many options out there. There's so many great center backs that can greatly benefit this player here. But that is it, right? Those are going to be the four players. I do believe that we are going to be revolving around Ansu Fati, Pedri, Gavi, and Araujo. And notice how every player does play in different positions. Like this man here, Araujo, will be the future of the back line. Pedri and Gavi will be the future of the midfield. And Ansu Fati will be the future of that front three. So it should be very exciting. I cannot wait to see what Xavi has in mind for all of these players next season. And I cannot wait to analyze it. So that is going to be wrapping up today's Barcelona Daily News. Thank you guys so much for, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys in the next video.